Hey guys, what's up? This is Gollum, and welcome to Cuphead on the PC. Cuphead is an interesting title. It's one that we've seen many times at the E3s, and it's always been kind of an exciting thing to see, just because it looks kind of neat. It's a 2D shooter platformy kind of game with uh, an incredible emphasis on old school cartoon looking animations. Uh, and it's looked really cool over the years, but it's one of those titles where, like, eventually, after seeing it for, like, three E3s in a row, I was like, yeah, we'll see what happens when it comes out. And, well, you know, hey, it's actually here. Um, we had an interesting little thing where a reviewer couldn't get past the tutorial for, like, many minutes, even though it was really obvious what you had to do. That was kind of funny. However, it turns out the game is actually kind of hard. I haven't played it yet, but from what I've seen of reviews, Cuphead is a pretty brutal game. So, while hopefully we won't struggle on the tutorial, we're probably... we'll probably suffer in the other segments. I actually... I suck at platforming games. But we'll see what ends up happening. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose! Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself! Now how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is. The devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have a, I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! Painted, or panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle! He'll know what to do! <laughs> they, they ended up doing a deal with the devil. Uh, well, I guess that shows what kind of game this is gonna end up being. Uh, what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into! I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts! And you'd best be ready for some nasty business! Your dead of friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into a terrible beast! Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry! It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities! Now, go to my writing table and use the mystical inkwell there! You need to prepare yourself for a scrap! Alright, cool! Let's see what we got here. I guess it's the tutorial, I just saw that. This tutorial, hold down to crouch. Blap. All right. Hold A for a jump. Tap A for a short. Hold for a high jump. Well, I'm just gonna hold A forever. Okay. Eh, hold down A to descend from platforms. Hold X for rapid fire. And if I hold down right bumper, I will lock myself into place. So I can just aim without getting completely screwed over. Right, all right. Okay, that's easy peasy. Uh, parry slap. Press A while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. Okay. Blap, blap, blap. Oh, 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 no! Okay. Hey. Hey! <laughs> I guess I could just hop up and just press A there. But I wanted to start from one, two, three. Revive your dead pal with a well-timed parry. 
on the ghost, two player mode only while we're playing with one player. B, X move, an upgrade attack that requires one super meter card. Whoa! Cool. Collect coins, for the, from, to, uh, collect coins to purchase items from the shop. Well, that one's so bad. So we have a dash. I can press A while in the air on things to revive, which we can't do here. Or we can press A on things to keep on jumping through things. Gotcha. Ah, that works shit stuff. Not so bad, not so bad. Pretty easy to figure out. But we'll see how they actually apply all these things. Again, people are saying this game's actually pretty hard. All right. Well, I went through the tutorial. And I can't talk to the... Kettle dude again. How dare you not allow me to talk to you. So I guess we leave. Let's see what's happening here. Oh! Oh. Well, alright. What do we got here? Oh, we can choose different weapons. Pea shooter, shot B, super, charm, list. Oh boy. World 1, 2, 3, and the finale. We have a whole lot of things to collect. Okay. So when we went out immediately, I thought it was gonna be like kind of a Mario-esque overworld. It still kinda is. Just later Mario ones where you could actually free walk around the overworld, sort of. Howdy. Hey, fellas! Looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this! Ooh, three coins. Hey guys, good to see you again. Hope those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with other folks around here. They might help you too. The one's not trying to kill you, I mean. Okay, let's see what's at the shop. That, that coin looking guy is pretty mean. Pork Rinds Emporium. Can I buy anything at the beginning? Okay, Chaser. Long range with below average damage. No aiming required. Eight way. Short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backwards for maximum range. What is this? What is this? An invisible dash. You will not take damage during a dash. A great defensive maneuver. Ooh, that sounds great. But are these, like, one-time use items? I want to purchase that. Uh, pea sugar. The first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Ooh. I'm taking that invisible dash because if it's a- if it's not a one-use item, having a dash would be pretty nice. You got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. All right. So, is that a charm? It is. Smoke bomb. You will not take damage during a dash. A great maneuver. A great defense maneuver. Gotcha. And then we have super and shot attacks. Oh, I probably could have bought a weapon there. Whoopsie. The root pack in Botanic Panic. Divinity selection, regular. Cause what am I? Some kind of simple pleb? I probably am. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh god! It's a boss! I wasn't expecting that! I was expecting to go through a stage first! Alright, yeah, fine, that's fine, I can do this. Does the worm do anything? Can I shoot the worm? Uh oh I'm not gonna try shooting the worm, I'm just gonna shoot the boss. Oh no, he's dead! Okay, uh oh. Ah, it's an onion man! I don't trust the onion man, I can hurt the onion man, he's gonna cry and- oh! He's crying tears! The tears will hurt us! Can I? Ah! Okay, that was bad idea. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Don't touch the tears. The pink tears, I thought maybe I could use my parry move on it. That's not, in fact, what happens. Oh, shit, we're getting attacked by every kind of vegetable in the world! I knew vegetables were the enemies! You can't trust the veggies! Especially the mind-controlling veggies? What the heck? Woo. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting in the face here, buddy. Whoa, but I gotta make sure these carrots don't take me out! They might hurt me, see? Uh, carrot a day will make your eyes improve, but that's just a myth! Whoa! Okay. This ain't so bad. But, uh, obviously this is, like, the first place that we find, so... Uh, we can't take this as an example of what's to come. Also, the amount of health we have is... 
like, it's interesting how that's shown up. It's at the bottom left, just HP. Knockout! We got him! <laughs> Take that! Let's collect the souls of the vegetables. What's my grade? C? What? 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 You got the root pack soul contract. That's good, I guess. I feel ripped off. Like... <laughs> I gotta see, is it just because of my health? It also said stuff about parrying, but I don't know how to- I tried to parry and it didn't work out. Running gun, forest follies. What does that mean? You're up. Running gun. Well, running gun. So we just keep shooting everything. Oh, everything dies. Whoops. Well, I just kind of assumed that I could fuck him up, but uh, that's on me for making assumptions. Dangerous, dangerous things are happening here. Everything dies. I mean, not everything has to die, but everything dies. Woo. I don't know what's up with that. There's so many creatures that hide themselves in the in the ground. That's not pleasant. Ow! Ooh. These cheap little bastards! Can't shoot that down. All right. Okay. We don't have full control over where exactly we're shooting. Whoop! What the heck? Damn it! Well, there's my first death. Nowhere to run, nowhere to go! This forest is your foe! Alright, my first death was to myself. <laughs> because I really wanted the coin! I could have just left it be! But fine, this time- Whoop! Never mind, I was about to say, this time I won't just take damage to fucking number- You know what? I let myself die, fuck this, we're not taking- Two hearts worth of damage at the very beginning of the stage. And begin! And the enemies want me to take them serious? Fine, let's do this! Sometimes you gotta be cheesy, let them touch the ground, then spin around in circles, everything will be fine! Meow! Before I know I was being cocky, because, you know, even though I haven't played that many platformers, I have a general expectation of future platformers. And that's gotten me messed up, you see? Uh, I expect a whole 360 degrees of aiming, when in reality that is not what we have available. So we gotta watch out for that. And then you have these guys who probably regenerate, the jerks. I have no idea what to do about this. Can I parry slap this thing? Nope. Oh, I can! I don't know how to do it without taking damage, but we did it! Hold on now. <laughs> I gotta make it over the gap. Could've been bad, could've been bad, see? So I can parry on enemies as long as I'm uh, careful about that. Oh shit. It's a boss thing, I think! Whoa! Gotta watch out for that, I only have one health left. Can you just get hit, blue dude? Thank you. Ah, uh, you're not living this. <laughs> we can't allow that! I made it! But I took a lot of damage during that. Just, just, just skip, skip! Tell me what I got! I got a B. I'll take it. I'm not playing to get like, A ranking, or A, a plus, or S ranking, or something like that. I'm just... Finishing the stages! Alright! That's all I need to do. Is there someone in here? Oh, it's a stage! Ruse of an Ooze! A great Hello, sir! I guess you're a boss fight! Alright! I'll just, uh... Hop out and under- oh, ah, What the fuck was that?!
I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be- Oh! I dashed into that. Shit. He just lunges himself forward. We gotta be, like, really far away from that. But what do we do if we're in the middle of the screen? Excuse you, sir! Also, I should probably be using these attacks. I was wondering what- what used them up? Or what caused us to get energy? That's my fault, I dashed right into that. But it is- it is just us shooting at things. Gotcha. So I should use it pretty liberally. In situations where I probably should, which is definitely gonna be the boss fights. Whoop! Damn it! Uh, my invisible dash isn't as good as I was hoping it would be. I keep dashing just straight into his face. I'm sad this is exactly like classic old school games where just touching an enemy gets you fucked up, but oh well. What does that do? Um... What? What do I- How do I dodge it when it's that big? I'm a handsome slime bringing pain, one bounce at a time. He grows- he gets bigger than my- I can jump below him, cause he gets so big he doesn't jump that high up anymore. Oh, dude, son of a fucking bitch, dude. Just kill me. Just, just fucking, just end it. I'm here. Put, put me out of my misery. I was sl just, there you go. A great plan to You're up. So this is gonna be like exactly like you'd expect. Oh, oh, some motherfucker bounced off the goddamn screen. Okay, I see how this is gonna be. I'm just like he'll hop himself into the corner. False. I should unequip this invisible dash. Okay, that that that's how I feel about this. It's not hard for this first part, but I just keep doing stupid shit. It's literally just walk under the dude and you don't get hurt. Fuck the dash. I don't need the dash. Aha! I don't know what that did! Damn it. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I, I I figured out that I could parry those those uh, question marks, but the problem is those question marks hurt me, so I lost all my health and couldn't hit, take any more damage. I don't know what to do about that. Whoops! I I dashed myself into that tech. I didn't actually get hurt, thankfully. I just- I pressed B and then I pressed Y for some reason. Oh, fuck you. Fuck that shit. Yeah, alright. I tried to get- I tried to get past him, it didn't work out. So, if I dash underneath him as he's hitting the ground... I can actually dash away from his position... ...without taking damage... ...when he's in that bigger form. And so that's what I started doing, just so I could get the hell away from that, but... Uh, I just keep on fucking up everything else. I hope you're prepared to see lots of failing, cause, uh... Cause that's what this fucking shit's gonna be about. I'm only 20 minutes into this game, man. Holy shit. I need to figure out, like, the full capabilities of what my cap my character can do. Because that's one thing that's fucking me up. I don't know anything about, like... <laughs> the parry system should be similar, right? You just... You just press A on things. But then I dash through stuff 
so I gotta time my jumps a little bit better for that part. Fuck this guy, dude. I hate enemies that beat me because they're big. Fucking god damn it! Okay, I think I can duck under the punches. I haven't tried it out at all because I keep dying as soon as he actually throws out one of those damn punches. But I think I can duck under the punches. Motherfucking. The most aggravating thing is when he touches the side of the screen and bounces back a little bit closer than I would have liked. Just touch the fuck- just press- I'm pressing A on the damn things! Okay? I'm pressing A on the fucking question marks! And the question marks are like, I don't know! I don't want to become an exclamation point! Oh, period! My life will end then! Oh, well, what, what's the point of life if you can't question everything that's happening? And I'm like, I don't fucking know! Just get hit, damn it! Shit! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on heading to the opposite side of the screen. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. I hate you so much, dude. Everything about you, I hate. I don't even think I need to do the parry. Yeah, okay. I was right. You can duck under the attack, but then I stood up too early. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> that goddamn edge of the screen once again! Ah, oh, that's frustrating me! <laughs> like, I will be in the corner and I'll go, Oh, he's gonna land on top of me! So what do I fucking do? I leave the corner and then he bounces back. Except it's not very consistent because sometimes you'll see him just, like, land in the corner. And sometimes not! It depends on his momentum! Which varies! You dirty little bastard! I should be invincible in the middle of the parry. I, I think that should just... I think that should happen. Alright, is my goal to always be on, like, the complete opposite side of the screen from this guy? If I can manage. Because otherwise, we're gonna just take damage. FUCK AGAIN! OH MY GOD! Whoa, I can throw that downwards. Cool. Alright, third phase. What happens? He gets hit by a gravestone, and we fight his- OH, HIS CORPSE! And it tries to squish me! It drive by tries to tombstone me. That's scary, man. Look, man, I already need to capture your soul for the devil, and I've died a lot of times to you. So if you could just be dead for a while, we we never have to meet again. Thank you very much. Motherfucker, just touching the edge of the screen, and just being like, oh man, I'm just gonna fucking sit there and get her all my bed. I got an A minus. If it hadn't been for my health, I could have had a higher score. I figured him out eventually, but I still hate it. <laughs> I hate. I hate that. <laughs> one of my biggest pet peeves with a boss will always be if they're just one, they hurt you by touching you, and two, if they're really big. And so he just had both of those. What's up, coin man? Have him. I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. 
For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it around or spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. Harum. Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for your coins then. So I'm at six coins, so I can I can actually go back to the shop and possibly buy myself an extra weapon. Okay. Adds an additional hit point, but slightly weakens your attack power. First prayer move is automatic, all you need to do is jump. Great coverage with average damage. Short range with great damage. Long range with below average damage. Well, I think I either want the roundabout or the spread. Aim backward for maximum range. Okay. Honestly, let's just go for spread. Great damage. Goodbye. Great damage, short range. That's what I need when I'm dealing with the bosses. There. I don't know how to use a secondary weapon, but I'm... I guess we're gonna find out! Clip point calamity, or clip joint calamity. 